hello in this video we will create the shape of our terrain so for this series i want to create a desertic valley with maybe some terrace so let's start with the purlin node and this is a very powerful node you can create almost every type of terrain with it i want a pretty large valley to start with so i will change the scale like this for example i will also change the warp frequency to have uh, some perturbation in my terrain not too much like maybe this you can also play around with the uh, octaves this is basically the definition of our terrain the higher the value, the more details uh, we will have in the terrain. Let's change the resolution to 1K. And I will leave it uh, to the default, I think it's OK. Let's change the seed a little bit until we find something that we like. Okay, this uh, is quite good, I think. Now let's add an aperture filter. And that is because uh, if you take a look at the pearl in here, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it is very easy to get artifacts and uh, some noisy edges. So that's why I use the aperture set to spread method. So we have wider edges. I will also change the kernel type, which is basically the shape of the border of our uh, edges to the corner, one iteration, I believe is enough. Between the pearly and the aperture, we can add maybe a displace, change the strength a little bit. Okay. And let's connect it to the aperture. Okay, let's bump up the iteration to two. I will choose the octave. We can add a combine because I want to combine this with another terrain to have uh, some more variation and also I want some lower areas. We can make those lower areas uh, in uh, different ways. We can also use a shaper node. I still need to think about it because uh, this terrain is not planned. I'm uh, just making it uh, on the go. Let's try adding a gradient in the primitives gradient node. Now the gradient is very bland, as you can see, you can use it as a mask or to generate terrain using the displace node. I will change the scale. So we have something like uh, this, a middle ground between uh, very high and very low terrain. Let's connect a displace node. Let's change the strength. So we have way more details, the iteration maybe four, Okay, now we have something very interesting going on. I will combine this with my previous terrain. Okay, I used the mean to 80%. So we have this blending. As you can see, this is the first terrain. This is the second terrain. And this is the final result. However, I will change the second terrain a little bit. We can maybe we can add a warp so we have a more organic look. Let me also change the light. Let's play around with, with the sides. Okay, I like this. The strength maybe. Let's connect it to the combine. Now we have this kind of result here. Now let's add, if we were working with the normal Gaia workflow, we could add a uh, look the stacks node which will looks very very good i believe with this terrain it will create terraces with uh, an erosion pre-applied to it however we are using the whole school method so in this case first of all i want to see how it looks with the erosion okay so this is what uh, the default erosion give us Let's try the measure terraces preset. It looks quite nice. We can improve it uh, further. Let's add, uh, I will say, a terrace. 
we can change maybe let's say 20 terraces okay let's type 20 stepness to 60 percent and then uniformity i will leave it to default for now let's add another terrace we also have the option for fractal terraces this is another good node for creating uh, terraced terrains we can try it later if this method doesn't work out as i want i set up the two terraces node and uh, for the first one i chose 29 terraces this is the base to create all the higher structure of our terrain as you can see if i select the combined node now this is our initial result this is after the first terrace node get this result you must choose a higher stepness value the higher the stepness the obviously the higher the these structures will be but also in the erosion pass you will maintain those higher structures or in uh, if you choose a lower stepness value you will get more of like a desert hill or similar uniformity as the name implies it's uh, for the shape itself of the various terraces this is just to give it more randomness I choose 20% for the uniformity for the first node with soft polo-off. Soft polo-off allows you to blend nicely with your base terrain. And this is the second terrace node. This time I choose a very high amount of terraces. So we have all these finer lines of terracing going on, as you can see here, for example. And I also choose the same amount of stepness, 60%. However, I left the uniformity of 60% default. So we have a more clean result, not so chaotic. The intensity, I also lowered it to 80%, like here in the first node. And I enabled the soft polo. After that, if you notice, there are some sharp features that I don't really like so I added a, an aperture node same method spread this is what I usually use one iteration kernel to disk and then we have the erosion pass so this is our first result I don't really like it but it's a very good starting point I simply use the mesa or terraces preset that works very well and now we can add an erosion stratified and now we have something very interesting going on let's play around with the settings the strength of the certification i believe we can leave it at something like 0.08 substrata i think this is good and now we will add a thermal erosion okay we must bump up the strength thermal erosion as the name implies it will create an erosion based on very high temperatures for example desert as well as if you have maybe lava in fact in the preset we have a lot of it fuse rock presets or a quick thermal fusion i will bump up the telus settling to maybe something like 70 percent Debris sites maybe 10 or too much let's say 5 for, for now duration we can leave it at 5% however for the strength I want 40 we need more I think I like this and uh, so this is our first result with the Statify and this is the result with the Thermal I like these rocks here as well as the sand that is covering the larger rock features to break the shape even more to create larger areas we can add a breaker breaker is used to either create rivers or cracks 
in the surface. We can use a depth of maybe 25. I will also increase the river length to 350. I will also change the mode to accurate. I, I already changed it. Duration is fine like this. If you increase it, it will erode way more. It's up to you. All this value that I inserted in the, in the various nodes are not magic numbers. They are just from my experience, but I advise you to experiment with the various nodes to find what you like. We can't add a look dev. As I said before, a look dev surface sector rocky would look very good in my opinion, but as a final touch, we can maybe add a rock slide. Let's see. Rock slide simply adds rocks. We can mask it so it only affects certain areas, maybe the areas where the thermal erosion is happening. So I will use the output of my thermal and use it as a mask for the rock slide. And now we don't have rocks on uh, the slopes and so similar only where the sand is. I will reduce the strength to 50% and the randomness maybe 70. I think uh, that uh, for the shape, this is enough. We could have made it uh, more sophisticated, maybe however, for this tutorial, I think it's enough. Let's add a portal. In the next video, we will start texturing our tablet. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like to support the channel. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. If you have any questions, comment below. And I'll see you in the next one with the texturing process. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true.